people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to FNAF News. In today's video, we have the official release date for Help Wanted 2 on flat mode. We got some major reveals for Funko's upcoming FNAF merchandise, but it's got some mixed opinions, some brand new updates and behind the scenes for the Joy of Creation, that and so much more we're going to be talking about today. So if you're excited for all the FNAF news and you want to stay up to date with everything going on in the future, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button. And first up, it's been a while since we last caught up with Hot Topic, and they've been busy pumping out a pair soda cans and actually a high number of FNAF characters being turned into backpacks so quickly flying through these first up we got a Nightmare Freddy hoodie I actually think the front of it is pretty cool that terrifying looking render though the text on the front and especially on the back just ruins this hoodie for me we got some shorts featuring brand new chibi iterations of the FNAF 1 crew and quite frankly those designs are absolutely adorable I pray they're used for something else in the future other than shorts. We got brand new backpacks of Chica and Glamrock Chica. I definitely know I've talked about these, but it seems like Hot Topic wasn't done because they just released a brand new Glamrock Freddy backpack as well. And this one actually looks pretty cute. It's in the form of a backpack instead of trying to be a backpack in the shape of an animatronic. And lastly, for Hot Topic news, you may remember a few months back, they released this exotic beverage soda water bottle. Well, they have also just released a brand new water bottle, this time featuring Sodaroni. I should clarify because everyone asks, no, they're not not actually filled with Sonoroni as much as that sucks. They're just empty water bottles. So you can put water or I guess if you want to make Sodoroni, you can put that in here. Moving on now to Numskull Designs. Recently, they got the license to make FNAF merchandise, and a lot of people were speculating this is most likely for their popular Tubbs Duck line of merchandise. Basically, you've got rubber ducks dressed up or cosplaying as various pop culture characters, and actually the co-founder of Numskull Designs did confirm the original FNAF 1 characters will be getting those Tubbs Ducks. He specifically called out four, so Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy seems like is going to be their first characters. They did mention they want to do a lot more with the FNAF IP and license, so hopefully we can see a lot more products coming from Numskull in the future. And those FNAF ducks should be releasing in only a couple months, so get excited. Moving on now to YouTube, we've got a quick update on their third and final Pop Goes pin set, featuring all the classic characters Pop Goes, Blake, Sarah, Saffron, Stone, Menorah, all having a fun, lovely day at the beach, but there is a problem. You may notice that the box the pins come in is colored blue, and if you've picked up YouTube's FNAF pins in the past, you'll know we've actually gotten quite a few blue boxes. So to spice things up a bit, Kane and the U2's team are going to be changing the box color from blue to yellow. Yellow is also a bit more of a beachy color and it's definitely going to help it stand out from those other FNAF pin boxes. Lastly for U2's, that's right, we've only had two U2's news this video. Feels like we usually have like 15. They teased their upcoming yellow rabbit plushie from Blumhouse's Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <clears throat> Ignoring this camera angle for the plushie, here's the teaser. U2's has said that their first FNAF movie wave is going to be releasing around June-ish and that's going to feature four plushies. It seems like the yellow rabbit plushie is confirmed to be in that wave, but something a lot of people picked up on is that the yellow rabbit plushie actually has a black bow tie, while the yellow rabbit in the FNAF movie, of course, has a purple one. And actually, this is something U2's originally messed up on the yellow rabbit figure, first teasing it as black before then realizing their mistake and switching it to purple. So hopefully they change that minor detail before his release, but I'd love to know what are your thoughts on the first look at the yellow rabbit plushie? Again, ignore the camera angle. I, why is YouTube's like this, man? Moving on now to Trends International. They've been busy pumping out some brand new FNAF posters. Last time we caught up with Trends was their brand new Help Wanted 2 posters. Actually, the other day, I was able to find two of the brand new Help Wanted 2 posters, so somewhere around this room. I gotta find room for them. But they are not done because these are some brand new posters also coming from Trends. These pieces were done by Turntail and for the longest time fans have been asking, please Trends give us some Turntail posters. And thank God they listen because these posters are just gonna go so hard, man. Separate from Turntail's designs, they're also releasing a brand new Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex neon sign poster. So a whole bunch of brand new posters from Trends. I'd love to know, are you gonna be picking up any? Moving on now, let's talk about Hex because we've got some major updates in regards to their next FNAF plushies. If you recall, the next plushies we'll be getting from Hex will be continuing the Withered Wave, featuring Withered Golden Freddy as well as Withered Chica. And also sneaking his way into this wave is Springtrap. Hex also showing off some brand new artwork of the plushies, and also confirming that these three plushies will be releasing at late April this month, or in early May, so very, very soon. I'd love to know, are you going to be picking up some of these plushies? What other Hex plushies would you like to see in the future? Don't forget we got sister location coming up but now let's move on to Funko because we got some interesting updates in regards to their future FNAF merchandise and when I say interesting 
I mean, Bear 5, interesting. Joking aside, this is the brand new Moonlight Freddy Funko Pop figure, exclusive to Amazon. There's been a lot of mixed opinions on this guy, some people dreading another recolor of a FNAF character. What are we doing, Funko? You got the other side of the fandom, which I'm kind of leaning towards, actually, thinking his color scheme looks pretty cool. We also got revealed the 16-inch Circus Baby plushie. She's gonna be exclusive to GameStop stores. A lot of people weighing in their opinion whether or not this is better or worse than the original baby plushie. I honestly think if it had the faceplate lines as well as pulling that hairline down a bit, this could have been a amazing circus baby plushie. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Do you prefer this new baby design? Do you like the old one more? And finally, we got an update on the 10th anniversary line from Funko. Previously, we got revealed to us that a withered Golden Freddy pop figure is in the works, as well as two brand new statues, and also a brand new release of mystery minis, though it's unclear what the theme will be for those guys. But Scarlet Joker took to Twitter the other day to say that a brand new puppet pop figure is in the works. Apparently this one will feature a brand new mold so it'll look pretty different from the original puppet pop with this brand new figure also having a floating pose. So this Funko news does sound promising. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on all the reveals? But moving on now let's talk about the joy of creation because an office demo for the upcoming fanverse title is just around the corner with all the animation work for it actually being completed fairly recently with Click Team also tweeting out that their QA department is excited to playtest. But while we wait for that, we got some brand new behind the scenes for T-Jock with Crash L Dev shout out. I know he watches these news videos showing some behind the scenes, the thought process behind the logo for the Joy of Creation. You can see just how many iterations the logo went through, though interestingly, they share a similar format. Though massive shout out to Crash for showing the behind the scenes for the logo. You did a fantastic job, my man. But that's not all because we also had Gabriel, the lead character artist for T-Jock, show some behind the scenes showing some comparisons between the old and new look for Ignited Foxy, showing off some up-close photos, some mug shots, as well as a full view of his skeleton. I still absolutely adore the mechanical slash anatomical designs they went with for the Igniteds this time around. And just like FNAF 4, it seems like Foxy at one point was planned to have a tongue. But as always, fantastic work from Gabriel. Thank you so much for showing these amazing behind-the-scenes looks. And now we come to the final topic for today, FNAF Help Wanted 2. Because we just got revealed to us some screenshots for the flat mode, which will be released on June 20th, 2024, which is actually the final day of spring. Very sneaky steel wall. And actually the game looks pretty fantastic from these flat mode screenshots with a PlayStation blog post going in detail about the flat mode. This adaptation of Help Wanted 2 seamlessly transitions the terrifying gameplay enhanced in the PSVR 2 onto the flat screen utilized by the power of the PlayStation 5. No matter how you prefer to play, be it from your couch or wandering around your living room with a headset, Fazbear Entertainment is happy to welcome you to the Pizzaplex. All of the games in Help Wanted 2 have been carefully adapted to accommodate the PlayStation 5, allowing a wider range of new hires to come join the fun. If you're already an employee via the PSVR 2, the standard PlayStation 5 version is included at no extra cost. Our team has taken great care to ensure that every step you take is filled with chills and thrills only Freddy's can provide. We look forward to receiving your applications. FNAF Help Wanted 2 hits PlayStation 5 June 20th. You've probably noticed by now it doesn't say anything about the PC flat mode for Help Wanted 2, which would make sense. It's a PlayStation blog post. I don't think they want you knowing about other platforms that you could play on, but I'd assume it'll release around the same time, if not probably the same date, especially because we know for a fact that a few days later on June 30th is when it releases on physical. Around that time is also when we should expect a brand new patch for Help Wanted 2 as revealed by a previous Steel Wool blog post. And because I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of people asking, Unfortunately, there is no update on the Oculus version of Help Wanted 2. Last we heard, the port was starting its certification process, with Steel Wolf saying a release date should be super close. That blog post was posted on the 4th of March, which was well over a month ago at this point, and I know there's a lot of Oculus fans patiently waiting. So hopefully there's an update on Oculus coming pretty soon. I'll be sure to let you guys know ASAP when that releases. But that is going to do it for all the FNAF news. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.